uh, all of our inter data center uh, traffic is, is carried by this new network, so the old network is turned off. So if you had asked me after, you know, 18 months after we start for real, will we carry 100% of traffic on this new network? I would have said no, probably not. That's a pretty optimistic assumption. And also it's really worked out, you know, better than we had hoped. So in summary, I'd like to say that errors can take place in four places. They can take place in the infrastructure. There's a lot of code in that infrastructure. They can take place in the program that we write. They can take place in the state that gets compiled down and the way that that state is then executed. And we need to make huge improvements in the way that we study all of these things and create that intellectual foundation for all of these. One thing is clear, that after all of this innovation that I think that we will see over the next few years, that will come from new companies, from researchers, and from people who are operating and needing to fix their own bugs, that I really believe this, that we will formally verify our networks, and we will identify bugs, then systematically track down their root cause. The last question I want to ask is, so will you? Nippon Express's achievements by NSC's program flow are as follows. First, design and operation environment of virtual network provided by VTM, virtual tenant network, have enabled to stop outsourcing of network configuration. Also, drastic reduction of lead time to start new services has been realized. Second, they have successfully overcome slow failure recovery time in the existing net distributed and autonomous network. Also, they have reduced lag space from 32U to 10U, and power consumption from 14 kilowatt to 2.5 kilowatt. Perhaps a utopian view, right, as to where things could happen, right? Where things could be is that a large cross-section of switch vendors adopt an open flow-based network operating system. Right? That becomes the network operating system of choice. Right? And all the uh, work that goes on becomes available in open source. Applications fundamentally become available through an app store. Right? My, my feeling is that eventually the VC herd is going to come running this way too. Uh, the market's just too big and, and what's happening is too disruptive. And so the fact that it got into the Linux kernel, I mean, it's in the kernel proper, and it's going to be distributed to all these people, I thought, listen, the world's going to change now, right?